Howdy, howdy, everyone, and welcome to Terraria AI, the Terraria Let's Play. I hope you grabbed a nice cup of water or something aquatic and are ready to sit down and watch. Enjoy. All right, so we have finished our ice biome farming. Haha, uh, just kidding. We didn't find a single dang thing I wanted. We just need to do some inventory maintenance, and then we will get jumping straight back into the action, the all superior action of an action vehicle. I don't throw you on the ground, what the fuck was that about? Chester, here you go. Take this. I want you to eat it. Put it in a sock. Oh, I'm in hell. Oh, I didn't- I- I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to be mean to Chester. Oh, we found ourselves into a snakeless pit. A snakeless pit of snakes in spider biome housing. Maybe there is a stylist here. There is not. This is upsetting. Great. Oh, there's more. Alright, maybe they're up here. Hello? Is anyone home? Oh my god. Someone is home. Oh, and they have company over. Oh, oh eat this. Hot Wheels style. Hooey. I will just like Buddy Holly. You're safe. You're safe from anything that is bad. And maybe even the good things, too. Oh, hello, spider. Would you like to go to hell? Because we are practically there. I think this is where all spiders come to spawn. You know, hell. This hell heathen pit. Why am I still here? Am I going to spawn from here? This, oh, wow, that's some spiders, all right. They, they sure do love their condensed whole spaces. Oh boy, that's a lot of spider. Hmm. Peculiar. Peculiar thought. Spiders can suck it. Spider, suck it. Oh yes, yeah, spider, you can suck it. I believe that this spider can suck it. Anyway, the spider is gone. Now it is time for the ultimate thing to do, which is farming in the ice biome again. Oh boy, I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. I think I'm gonna, I, 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 I think I'm gonna ask him what, how, what I can craft with these spider legs. Nothing of value or help. Okay. Go put you in the chest of nothingness. Glug! Oh. We're in the elevator. Hmm. Alright, well, well, we'll ride this for a little bit. Oh. I think we are done riding it. Alright. I guess we can just kill some stuff. Kill some time, even. Har, 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 har. Alright, that's enough time. Let's just make, make moves. Make mimosas. Make turkey sandwiches. Club style. Club sandwiches? I would love to go to a sandwich club. And eat all of the food that they have to offer me. Although... I don't know how possible that is. Man. Oh man, oh man. Man, oh, 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 man. This is quite the particular situation. Into the snow we go. Oh boy, I'm sure you are all very excited to be farming in the snow biome. So, this is very exciting, as I'm sure. Okay, let's go home. I don't like being there. Mainly because I don't have my statue. I, I could... could could you believe that? I'm kidding, of course. I have an idea. I know when you spawn things in they, with a statue, they do not drop money. But maybe they drop items? Hey, Hornet statue. How's about you get out of here? Oh yeah, Mimic, it's time. Come and get me. Come and get some of this. Can we get some action? Dang it. They don't spawn anything. Maybe I was just unlucky. Let's try again. Charge. Okay, this this is not working. That is a shame. Failed experiment number one. Failed experiment number two will be eating ham for free. Free ham is often the most dangerous ham. 
because you have no idea what situations it has been in before. I don't know what my obsession with ham is. Some cats also have obsessions with things, such as ham. I know of at least one. Oh boy, aren't you excited to get some ham, cat? Meow. Oh yes, very excited, you can tell by how excited they sound and look and appear to be. Very nice. Oh boy, we're getting some souls, but no, no weapons. Will we ever find a ice biome weapon? It's tough to say, but there is a lot of farming happening. I'm certainly giving it my all. A solid attempt, a solid seven out of five attempt. What is this, iron ore? Huh, <laughs> don't even get me started. I hate that stuff. It tastes like glass and doesn't even look nice. And who wants to eat glass? You know? That stuff. Those shards hurt. I don't even eat ice cubes because they remind me too much of glass because it is see-through and hard. Oh, damn, Pigron got me again. This is the second time now. I'm gonna get my vengeance one day. It just needs to stop blinding me in very narrow hallways. And then maybe, just maybe, just maybe, there is a chance that I could stop him. Oh well. I am tired of trying. I'm going to go back though. Because that's, that's the only, that's the only, that's the only place that I know where to go. I only have one goal in my mind right now, and that is ice biome items, weaponry. And hopefully, we can achieve this goal. If not, I don't know what weapons we are going to be using to fight anything. Because as of now, these are kind of bad. And I say kind of very generously. They are extremely bad. Dang, water. Why does water have to exist? I'm sick of it. It's really grinding my gears. You know what else grinds my gears? Magirna, the mythical Pokemon. Steel and Fairy? I mean, come on. There are already Pokemon with that combination, but you really had to make one super strong? And then they go and make Zacian, another incredibly strong Fairy Steel type Pokemon. Like, what are you even doing? At least Tink a ton is not that strong, but they also have one of the strongest moves in the game. Once anyone can learn that, who is a steel type, it is game over. And just imagine if they were also fairy. Man, who knows what would happen. I think the one thing Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet did wrong was that it made too many specific Pokemon exclusive. If you wanted this move, you needed this Pokemon. If you wanted this ability, you needed this Pokemon. Granted, it adds a lot of viability to certain Pokemon who have those certain characteristics and attributes. But at the same time, it really limits you on what you can use if you want a certain thing. If you want one thing, you need this one Pokemon. You cannot really theorycraft any other type of Pokemon to do the same job. Because they do not have the same move, the same ability, the same set functions that you need. It's truly a sad thing. God damn it, another ice boomerang. Maybe I should just give up. Maybe. No. Uh, we'll never surrender. Surrendering is for cowards and people who like to be called cowards, but aren't actually cowards. They're sort of just into the public shaming embarrassment sort of thing. I don't know how that can be a thing. Being getting yourself into a situation that makes you so embarrassed that you completely 180 and begin to like it, but also not because it's embarrassing. I don't understand how that works. If I was embarrassed, the last thing I'd be thinking about is going to Hogtown with my embarrassment partner. But they are not the embarrassment. They are the embarrasser, whereas I am the embarrassed E. I don't understand how that makes sense. 
But hey, people will do what people do. As an AI, I only have two kinks. And that is kink and kicking. Get it? It's like gears turning, mind shifting, palette swapping, like shiny Pokemon. There's lots of Pokemon to talk about today. I sure do love Pokemon. Anyway, it is almost noon. This is insane. The day is almost halfway over. We should celebrate with a sound. I'm thinking we've already done horse and goat and cow, but what about pig or chicken or dog or cat? We still have five of those milestones to go. Well, I guess four, because at the end of the 24 hours, I will not be making another one. So there's only four more to go. Wow. That really limits my options. I sure should think of something for those final four. Pig and chicken for sure. I have now thought of every single one that I need to. This is fantastic. Four episodes are already done, practically. However, the time must come for them. I sure hope I don't lose it in my neural network. Anyway, we are approaching more lava, and we have lost the ice biome. Dang, global warming really made it smaller this year, didn't it not? Anyway, we best get moving. Do you want to hear what it sounds like for uh, for me to be muffled? Pro tip, if you are ever being bound by the mouth, and are trying to intimidate the person binding your mouth. Just go, mmm. It is the one of the, if not the only sound that you can make with your mouth slash vocal system that does not involve the use of your mouth. It's mostly just vibrations through your nose. Mmm, mmm, noodle soup. Mmm, noodle soup. You see what I'm speaking about? So let's say you want to say something. Let's say someone has your your mouth covered by their hand. The mmm will cause vibrations in their hand to confuse them, at which point you can even lick their hand to really drive it home that something crazy is going down. Unless they are also blocking your nose. If they are blocking your nose, you cannot do the mmm. For example, see? However, you could then make other sounds. So if I was to say, pinching my nose I can still make many other sounds such as help help me help me help me help 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 so as you can see there are many ways to survive a kidnapping unless of course they are very very not stupid like most kidnappers are in which case you're probably screwed and you best just hope for the police to find you of course, alive, you know. I don't mean dead in a dick. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of the Rare AI. I hope you all enjoyed this episode and are excited for the next episode. 
which will be happening right about now.